Hi guys, and welcome back. This time we're visiting the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. What do we have there, Aiden? I'm assuming it's supposed to be a T-Rex, so it's lacking feathers. <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to be a T-Rex. Our family loves all things prehistoric, but especially Aiden, who wants to be a paleontologist. Hello. Hey, what do we got here? Okay, it's obviously a raptor of some sort. So down here, the code of raptor, but also got this guy. This guy's really cool. <laughs> Crocodilian of some sort. All these things are cool. I like how they laid them out. We really enjoyed the unique displays this place had to offer. that, Aiden? <laughs> Holy cow. That's T-Rex, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, this is the Crestosuchus. These things are pretty dang terrifying. <laughs> so, believe it or not, this is a crocodile. <laughs> Doesn't even look like a crocodile, but this is, this is a crocodile. Here's what I'm doing the traffic period. You can probably tell he ate me because he's a crocodile. <laughs> I don't know if this one could, but I know some crocodiles could run around on two legs back in the day. Like Postosuchus, for example. I don't know if he could do it, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So this was discovered in 1942. We were really impressed by their prehistoric marine life section. Megacephalosaurus. That's a cool name. Top predator of its time. Amazing. Diet. Everything. <laughs> Looks like this thing was chilling in Kansas. Like <laughs> <laughs> asking, is the small guy over there? Yeah. 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 This is also the largest paleontology lab in the U.S.
Join us next time as our journey continues. This time we're exploring a new favorite part of the country, the Black Hills in South Dakota. You won't want to miss the beauty and majesty of this special area. See you then.